Rainy season is a time of maximum growth with new branches and greeny leaves. Rainy days are like the Christmas days that makes most of the plants full of joy. To keep your plants full of growth and greenery, you have to keep some points in your mind related to the rainy days that might helps you to boost plants growth. Therefore in this video, I am going to share the 8 most important points about the rainy days. So hello everyone, once again welcome back to our channel. For getting day-to-day -day updates from our gardening channel, hit the subscribe button and keep on watching. In the rains, the humidity level is slightly increases in the air due to the rain water. This humidity may help some of your plants to grow fastly, and it is also dangerous for some plants. To deal with this humid environment we have to take some precautions. So let's see what are these precautions. On the number one, stop watering your plants. Let me give you an example, plants that have tree type nature, means they have a timber trank, don't requires a single drop of water in the whole rainy season. If you add water in the soil and a heavy rain occurs, then it may have a greater chance of root rotting. Therefore if you have these type of plants don't water them, you can water the small plants that have a well draining soil but still don't add too much water. Simply keep the soil of every pot a very little moist. On the number 2, open the drainage holes. The plants that had potted in a container from a long period of time, have a blocked drainage hole. It may be blocked due to the soil, roots, and any rock, you just have to open it. You can use any tool to open this drainage hole. It help the extra amount of water to drain out and our plant doesn't gets any root rot problem. On the number 3, make grafting and air layering of any plant. Rainy season is the best season for grafting of any plant because the environment is humid and the chance of failure is almost zero. You can also multiply your plants using the air layering technique. It is a very easy process you just have to wait for a while but the result is definitely absolute. I have described so many times about the air layering of different plants, you can check out that videos in the description and i button. On the number 4, grow lot of cuttings. Rainy season is the season to grow lots of cuttings, because the environment is humid and the cuttings also wants a humid environment to grow roots. Therefore if you have plants, it is must to grow lots of cuttings. I also have grown some cuttings that I will show you in near future, make sure you have subscribed to our channel. On the number 5, place the succulents indoor. As I told you, the rainy season is overly moist season, therefore it is not a good time for the succulents. To keep your succulents healthy and growing, you have to place them in a secure environment with a dry soil. If you leave your succulents in the open, it is definite that they will die. So place them in a shady area where the rain can't reach. But if you are using a very well draining soil in your succulents and indoor plants, then there is nothing to worry about. I have made a very well draining soil mix using very basic components for the indoor plants, if you also wants to know about that, the link is added in the description and i button. On the number 6, prepare a quality insecticide to fight with lots of insects. Rainy season is also a hard time for the insects like the ants because there is water everywhere and they don't know how to swim. They took shelter in the pots and is not good for plants and to remove them I have an organic solution. This is the cinnamon powder that is made from the bark of cinnamon and it is an organic insecticide. It doesn't harm any insect, it only make them to leave the pot due to its smell. If you are also facing ants and some other insects in your garden, cinnamon powder is the best solution. Simply sprinkle a pinch of powder around the stem as I am doing. If you can't find cinnamon powder around the local market, you can also buy it from the description link. On the number 7, prepare a pesticide for your plants. Rain is the favorite season of different pests because they came out and attacked different plants. To keep your plants out of these harmful pests, 
you have to use a pesticide spray. The best and the most easily available pesticide is the neem oil that you can easily buy from the description link. And it is the organic pesticide that doesn't harm the plants. For making and applying the neem oil pesticide spray, I have made a detailed video that you can check from description and I button. Use any pesticide spray on all your plants every week. Spray over the whole plant, this thing keeps the pests away from your plants. On the number 8, it's time to buy new plants. Rainy season is the best time to buy the plants. If you buy plants in this season, none of your plant dies, because in the rains the environment is very suitable for their growth. You can buy any type of plant that you want in the rainy season. On the last I have a bonus for you, don't fertilize any of your plant in the rainy season because in the rains the pots are mostly filled with water and the rain is happening every day, that make the fertilizer unable to stay in the soil and gets into the roots. All the effects of fertilizer floats out from the drainage hole with the rain water. Therefore rainy season is not a good time to add fertilizer into the soil. So these are the some important points about the rainy season that makes your efforts in a right direction and make them fruitful. You can ask me any question in comments related to plants. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the next video. Thanks for watching.